Mahilig ako sa mga phones na maganda yung camera. Especially sa mga selfie camera nila. Bihira lang yung phone na maganda ang kanyang selfie camera. This one guys has a 60 megapixel selfie, dual selfie camera. Dalawa po ang kanyang camera sa harap. Meron pa siyang 50 megapixel triple camera sa likod. 100 watts fast charging. Snapdragon 778G processor and so much more. Maganda pa yung design. Ang ganda pa ng display. But probably yung unique dito is yung kanyang 60 megapixel selfie camera. That is a first on any smartphone. 60 megapixels. Hindi po lumalaki ng ganun kalaki yung megapixel ng mga selfie camera. But this one is the first. So I'm pretty sure no? Hindi mo nakalaan ng ganito. Awkward, ang laki. The same quality you get here can be achieved on this phone. Mas magaan, mas sharp. 24 megapixels nga lang yun. Ito, 60 megapixels. But yes, without further ado, let us check it out. Upload to Bins, and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Woo! Alam niyo ba, kapag sinabi Nova, matindi yan. Nova 3i. Nova 5i. Dati sobrang hype ng mga Nova series nila. And this one is no exception. That is the phone. Whoop. I can feel the curve. Mukhang pang flagship. Whoop. Look at the curves. It looks like a flagship device. 3D curve. Nice. And inside, we've got here the SIM ejector pin. We've got here the jelly case. USB Type-C cable. And the gigantic, super massive, titanic, 100 watt super charger. Sipin nyo na lang, si Taguro isang dang porsyentong lakas. Mahinang nila lang. Ganda no, grabe yung kanyang likod. Very shiny. Wow. Look at that texture at the back and that glow when light touches it. Panalo para sa akin ang kanyang itsura. Gold? Wow. Grabe naman yan. Pero ang ganda. Tinan mo, doon sa kanyang golden ring sa sides, meron nakasulat dito. Ay, ang ganda. Sana lahat ng camera phones, meron ganito na naka-etch sa kanyang ring. Parang naalala ko yung mga gold, mga Louis Vuitton, mga ganon. Sobrang social tingnan. It looks so luxurious. Actually, everything about the body is luxurious. May parang silver slash gold yung kanyang Nova dito. Ngayon na, pagdala ng ilaw, hindi mo alam kung gold or silver. Ang ganda ng effect. But yes, it is a combination of silver and gold. Gusto ko agad makita yung kanyang selfie camera. Wow, look at that. Let me just do this right now. Ito ah, kung nagbabalaki maging unboxer. Important to na feature na. Nakita ito sa vlog mode niya. Ang tawag dito showcase focus. So, ang okay dito is, kung sino yung pinakamalapit, doon siya mag-focus. So, ayan. I'm showcasing it. I'm not showcasing it. Ito. Yung pinakabago. Ito yung kanyang USB Type-C cable. Ito naman yung kanyang charger. O, di ba? Effortless. Parang masyado malapit. Yun. Pwede palang mas wide. Nice. Okay, okay. So, maganda itong length na ito ah. Ito siguro yung pinaka-favorite ko. Napansin nyo naman, no? Kapag ito yung gamit ko, sobrang lapit. Nakita nyo naman kung gano'ng kalapit sa mukha ko ito. At ang laki-laki pa. Making it very unusable for vlogging, especially kapag nagmalabas ka. Ito naman, tinan mo naman yan. Hindi mo na kailan stretch out yung kamay mo na sobra. Ayan lang, oh. Chill ka lang. Tapos ang ganda ng field of view mo. That's how you do it. Effortless vlogging. Para mas focus ka sa sinasabi mo, sa content mo, that's what matters the most. Hindi mo nakalaman ang problema pa sa distance and sa stretching para lang maisama yung buong mukha mo at yung surroundings mo dun sa shot or frame. Tapos, meron pa isang nice feature dito na gustong gusto ko talaga. Which is yung follow focus, no? Sinusundan niya yung subject, no? Kapag kagmagalaw, sumusunod po yung focus niya, which is a nice thing. You can move in and out of the picture and you're still in focus. O nga pala, you need to know this. Yung 60 megapixel is not just wide, but ultra wide. That's right guys, 60MP ultra wide angle lens po ang nilagay nila sa harapan, which is very rare. Tapos yung ultra wide angle camera nila, usually 8MP lang yun, secondary camera. Ito, ginawa nilang main camera si ultra wide angle, 60 megapixels. And ito po yung nakita ko sa ano, camera app ha. Meron siyang 0.8x, yun yung kanyang default, 0.8x. Tapos pwede ba mag mas wide ng konti? Piling ko, by default, no, ito yung pinakamax niya. Both the W and the point X are actually using the 60 megapixel camera. Yep, hindi nang bago yung quality. It is the same sensor. Feeling ko yung 8 megapixel na portrait lens na kasama ni 60 MP ay para sa background blur. Ayun, si portrait naman talaga. Ginagamit yan sa bokeh. So, ito yun, no? Uh, background blur. Ayan, medyo blurred siya kasi ako yung mas malapit. And that's how it looks like when you're vlogging. For example, may in-interview ko uh, Oh. Balita ko, meron ka daw ginagawa ngayon sa, ano, sa Facebook ha. Nakita ko yung mga post mo. Kaya nga na ban, di ba? 30 days ban ka daw eh. Eh, so ganyan na. Oh, lumalayo ako. Nagbo-blur siya. Nice. Nice. That's nice. And by the way, pwede kang 
mas makinis dito. Meron siyang beautification na sobrang may lipstick ka pa yan, no? No, ito na yung medyo pang girl na <laughs> na filter. Ah! Well, depende naman kung paano mo dalhin ang sarili mo, no? Kung lalaki ka pa rin magsalita o lalaki yung datingan mo, magbunga ka pa rin lalaki. Mas pogi ka lang. Pero kung, you know, medyo binabay ka, ayun, alam. Medyo na, medyo alam na. Tapos meron pa siyang dedicated vlog mode, guys. Uh, Doon ko nakita yung kanyang showcase focus. Meron siyang follow focus. Kaya lang hindi niya ginagamit yung kanyang selfie camera. It's using the rear camera all the time. Wala pong way para gamitin yung selfie on the other modes. But right here, sa mga lenses, naku, ang dami mong pwedeng gawin. Yung mga dual camera. Ito po ang itsura ng dual camera niya. Meron sa taas, meron sa baba. And mukhang mas malaki yung framing nung nasa taas. Hi, bro! Nice, nice yan, nice yan. Pwedeng dalawang rear. Bakit ganun? Ah, ito mas wide, ito mas zoom din. Okay. Pwede pala yun. Ito naman pwedeng both. Okay. Hindi ko sure kung, kung para saan to. Na, 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 na. Okay. <laughs> Creepy. Ito yung madalas ko nakita sa mga ibang phones. Yung dual rear and front camera at the same time. Ayan po. Magkano ito pang unboxing. Oh. Ayan, no? Kasi nakikita mo yung reaction ko at the same time. The one you're unboxing. So, Huawei Nova 10 Pro. Ito siguro feeling ko parang pang vein, no? Gusto mo lang makita yung sarili mo dalawang beses. Or, gawin mong sarili, uh, or yung mata mo, pwede mong gawin ikaw. Hey, hey ang dami ko. <laughs> sa gitna ko, sa gitna. I just love myself. I love you. This is the most vain phone, or the vainest phone I have ever used. Kung mahilig ka mag-selfie, mahal na mahal mo sarili mo. This is the phone for you. More love for you. Alam na yung golden rule. Love yourself as you love yourself. Kasi, paano ka magmamahal na ibang tao kung hindi mo mahal sarili mo? Oh, by the way, 4K 30 frames per second pala ang kanyang selfie video. Kaya po siya ganun ka-sharp tingnan. Ito yung something na very useful na nakita ko dito, no? Meron pa siyang selfie time-lapse. Pwede namang rear, pero pwede ring selfie kasi nakita mo yung itsura mo dun sa, sa display. So maganda ito no kung uh, nagilinis ka ng bahay, gusto mong i-vlog yung paglilinis mo. Ayan po ang itsura niya. It was fun and hindi ko na kailangan i-fast forward pa sa editing. That's a nice feature to have. Oh by the way, nakalipot na sabihin sa inyo yung kanyang 50 megapixel triple camera setup. Yes, meron ko po siyang rear cameras. Yan po yung gold sa likod. But is the image quality also gold? Ito ba 50MP main sensor? 8MP ultra wide angle lens and 2MP depth sensor. Ito yung mga pictures na mga comments kanya. No doubt si Huawei ang isa sa mga the best when it comes to camera quality. Ever since no nung natagpuan ko si Huawei way back in 2016, 2017, they have always been one of the best in terms of camera, especially in sa mga mid-range phones ha. The pictures you will get on this is almost flagship level. This is coming from their huge sensor, plus ko na lang state of the art AI photography algorithms at mabilis na rin na processor. The pictures are always going to be very sharp, very detailed, maganda yung contrast, also close to true life yung kanyang colors, almost very accurate. Napansin ko lang, no, hindi siya yung super intense na saturation, hindi ka talaga may ibang phones, which is a good thing kasi nga kung uh, enthusiast ka talaga na photographer, mas kugustuhin mo na ganito siya. More room for post-editing. At ito naman yung kanyang selfie night mode. Of course, meron din siyang super night sa kanyang rear camera. What this mode does is that, compared sa photo mode, no, ito ay mas klaro kapag low light. Yun nga lang, mas kukuha siya ng mas matagal compared sa usual na photo mode. But the result is going to be much clearer, less noise, at mas maganda yung exposure. That is the night mode. Isa pang okay dito is meron pa siyang quad pace detection. Kapansin namin, with this technology, mas mabilis yung kanyang focusing at mas accurate. Never kami parang nag-out of focus or yung focus breathing. Ako na sabi sa inyo, sobrang important ng focus sa aking video production kasi nga, minsan nagkakaroon ng parang focus breathing yan, you know, nahirapan siyang i-focus kung saan man. Ito guys, walang problema. Siya lahat bahala sa'yo. And that my friends, are the cameras on the Huawei Nova 10 Pro. Pero kamusta naman siya as your regular daily driver? Is it going to be okay for gaming, for content consumption, and things like that? Well, masabi ko lang is, sobrang pogi na niya sa likod. Sa harap naman, sobrang pogi rin. No? Ang, ang sexy, Ang curvy, ay alam ko na to, no? Katulad ko sa mga lalaki, gusto ko sexy eh. Mayroon ko sa sexy. Kaya kung sexy yung phone ko, bibili ko talaga agad siya. It has that 3D curved display that you usually only see sa mga flagship phones. This thing has a 6.78 inch 2K OLED display na mayroon 120Hz refresh rate at 300Hz touch sampling rate. Wow, grabe yung mga numbers dito. Yun nga lang napansin ko dito is mukhang malaki masyado yung kanyang selfie camera. Malaki yung kanyang sinasakop. Kaya medyo... Meron distance dito 
Ayan, medyo mahaba siya ng konti. But still much better than yung nakikita mo sa iPhone, no? Kasi iPhone, masyado mahaba eh, yung bago. Eto guys, naku, nasa gilid na siya. Hindi pa na nakuha sa iPhone eh. Pero na si Huawei. Papahabaan mo lang pala yung selfie camera. Napansin ko din, grabe. Grabe ka nipis ng mga bezels. Sobrang sagad lahat. When you're watching movies, no? It's a treat. The level of immersion is on a totally different level. Akala mo umaapaw na ang content dun sa gilid. Tapos sobrang sharp pa. Thanks to that 2K resolution, mas klaro po siya. Kesa sa regular 1080p display, this is going to give you more sharpness, more detail. Mas ma-appreciate mo to guys kung mahilig ka manood ng mga movies and watching high resolution videos. And not only that, sobrang smooth niya din. Meron kasi siyang 120Hz refresh rate at very responsive din ang kanyang touch. Grabe, parang naalala ko doon si P50 Pro dito. No? I remember this is how it was. Siguro nagkakatalo na lang sa kanyang processor. Parang feeling ko talaga ito si P50 Pro. Iba lang yung kanyang internals. Now in terms of speed, gano'n pa kabilis itong phone ito. This phone has a Snapdragon 778G processor and this is the Antutu benchmark na na-generate niya. 513,000 points sa Antutu benchmark is impressive. What's more impressive is the optimization I found on the games. Sa Mobile Legends po, gabi. Ultra, ultra. No? Bihira lang ang merong mga phone na ganito. Best friend siguro ni Munton si Huawei kung ganito. Kung nara si Munton, bro, we need you back in the game. We're gonna put ultra, ultra sa Mobile Legends. Kapag yung mga users nyo, Bumili lang ganito, meron sila laking ultra sa amin. Ana all! And yes, when I'm playing Mobile Legends in this, maganda po ang experience. Walang lag. And finally, sa mga naghihintay dyan ng kung ano yung feeling ng isang ultra refresh rate, this is it. My experience yun na, ang very smooth, very esports-like display that you have never ever experienced on a phone. Sa Call of Duty naman, very high graphics and max frame rates. Ganun din, pang flagship experience din yung kanyang graphics. Maganda rin ang itsura niya sa OLED display. Sagad na sagad po, kung isa kang Call of Duty player, I think mag-engine ka na sobra dito. Actually, anything you do on this phone is very fast, very smooth. Thanks to the combination of the very smooth display and very fast processor. For me, that 778G processor is okay na okay na yan. Naalala ko si, ano, ha, si P50 Pro, parang hindi masyadong malayo yung kanyang score, no? Dito? Yes. Ibig sabihin po, almost flagship na siya. Kaya Beans, paano yan? We were waiting for this. Kasi Huawei device, walang Google, Huawei has got you covered with their app gallery. Ito ah, medyo na-excite ako. App gallery has grown so much, it is now the third largest app store. I don't know, kapag ka sa ibang phone, ay, may Google Play Store to, no? Nobody gives a bat. Ay, sa iPhone, may Google... Okay. Okay. Pero kapag sa Huawei, meron kang app gallery, naka-excite na. It is something. Kasi marami kang pwedeng makita dito. And it's continually evolving. When you open the phone, you will immediately see the app gallery. Ayun po yung tsura niya. Huawei. Click mo lang yan. Pasok ka agad dyan. Type mo lang agad yung gusto mo. And there you have it. Type mo Genshin Impact. Meron siya dito. Type mo naman si Gcash. Uy, meron din si Gcash. No? Uy. Meron ba siyang Paymaya? Maya? Yun, may Maya na rin. Lazada, almost kompleto siya guys. Meron lang mga ibang apps na not yet available. Of course, syempre. It's still growing its massive collection or catalog of apps. Hindi lang yon. It's actually a super device, no? When you say super device, it's actually a term that they use in Huawei para sa mga devices niya, mga laptop, accessories, phones. Kapag super device, guys, maganda po yung integration. Let's say for example, yung free buds na nadebu ko, kaka unbox ko lang. When I open the earphones, wala na press press pa ng pair button. Immediately nakita niya agad yung phone and I just pair it out. Gumana nasa agad. Maganda rin yung integration niya with the laptops. I think that's where you're going to use this most of the time. Yung seamless na transferring of files. You can actually drag and drop, no? From your phone to the laptop ng very seamless. Hindi na kailangan may inter interface pa, no? Sa tablet nga, pwede siyang extra display. And even yung phone, pwede mo i-control gamit yung laptop, which is nice. By the way, this is not the only phone that they're putting out right now. Meron pa silang dalawang phone na nilabas. Kasama si Huawei Nova 10 Pro, which is si Huawei Nova 10 at Huawei Nova 10 SE. Si Huawei Nova 10 ay kamukha lang din ni Huawei Nova 10 Pro. Ito ay same processor, same display din, same selfie camera, 60MP kaya lang, isa lang guys. Hindi katulad ni Pro version, dalawa yung selfie camera. And 66 watts lang yung kanyang fast charging compared sa 100 watts ni Pro version. That is the Huawei Nova 10. Si Nova 10 SE naman, medyo iba po yung itsura niya, no? It has that dual ring, Huawei P50 Pro look to it, no? Pero mas simple, it has that box type shape design. It has that vibrant, youthful design to it. Ito ba yung Snapdragon 680 processor. 
Yung display niya, 6.67 inch 2K display din. OLED na, pero 90 Hz refresh rate lang at 270 Hz touch sampling rate. But get this, 108 MP ang kanya rear camera, triple camera setup pa sa likod, 16 MP selfie camera, mobilis din yung charging, 66 watts, supercharge, 4,500 mAh of battery. Feeling ko ito yung pinakamura nila, pinaka-accessible nila, na Nova 10 series. Now the question is, how much are these Nova 10 phones? Ito na po, unang-una, Huawei Nova 10. SRP is 26,999 pesos. Si Nova 10 Pro naman ay 32,999 pesos. At si Nova 10 SE naman ay only 17,999 pesos. Wow, ang dami na nalabas. And this one costs about 32,000 pesos. Pwede na, it's almost a flagship device. And it's unique kasi wala ka makakita ng ganitong klaseng selfie camera in the market right now. Even before, wala po. This is right now the best vlogging cell phone. And maganda na specs, maganda na siya for gaming. I love it. If you want to see more Huawei videos just like this one, then subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. That's Beans, and you're watching Unbox Ladies. Ooh.